Proud of the toughness you guys showed down the stretch those yeah, last couple minutes. Yeah, all the guys, you know, it's, it's three games in a row where we had a pretty good environment. And, uh, the guys down the field and found a way to win. You know, and uh, Dwayne hits a big shot. You know, we ran a play there out of the timeout, and he had a big one. And, and Elgin hits two, Jaleel hits two, and Dylan hits two to close it out. So, you know, those are not easy plays to make in this environment. And uh, so I'm really happy for the guys, really, really pleased. You guys shot free throws well all year. Do you do anything to get your guys to hit free throws in clutch situations? Do you create any? No, we just got good shooters. Yeah. You know, I mean, it's not a secret. Uh, Coach McKenna worked with Dwayne. Dwayne went shooting well and, and made a little adjustment there, and I think he's shooting better. But, uh, you know, we just we got good shooters. Joe's been a good free throw shooter his whole life. Uh, Jaleel's a good shooter. You know, Elgin's really improved. Now, Elgin's worked at it really hard. But, uh, you know, I don't, I don't know if you can create an atmosphere like that to assimilate it. Coach, with how many close games you guys have won this year, um, how fit are you wasn't it to win your last regular season in such a close fashion? Well, we don't need to make them that close. Uh, <laughs> uh, we could find some way, you know, we're giving up some easy baskets and try to pull away a little earlier. But, uh, no, finding ways to win is, is critical for any team. And, uh, you know, our guys feel comfortable, you know, down the stretch. Uh, uh, so, I'm, you know, I'm happy for them. Right? You know, they find ways to win games. A lot of that's hard play. A lot of that's hitting those free throws that we just talked about. But, you uh, you know, got a big rebound there, Jordan did, and Jordan's not our best free throw shooter, so as soon as he came down, he found Jaleel and kicked it to him, which is a really smart play. Um, so, you know, guys just made smart plays. It seemed like there was a real grind for both teams, is that because of the style of the way you play? Yeah, we, you know, we want to get up and down more. You know, we, we got the tempo where we wanted it. You know, we, you know, it was kind of a split. We wanted it 75, they wanted it 55, and we ended up at 65. So, you know, I mean, it was, it was kind of a split, but we definitely didn't want to play the game in the 50s. You know, that, uh, it's just we're too small to do that. We don't, you know, we, we got to get up and down a little bit. So, um, you know, when it was 32 all and a half, I thought we had the pace at least, you know, decent. I know you don't like Wednesday, Sunday games, but now you got an opportunity where you have eight days until you play. Is that kind of working in your favor now? No, it's, it's what the schedule is. I, you know, we're playing good. I, I don't want eight days off. You know, I'd like to take maybe four and play. You know, but when you're playing good, the ball's moving, the guy's feeling good. You know, because now they got to practice and they don't want to practice. You know, and, and they think they got it all figured out. So, um, you know, we'll we'll give them a couple of days here, but uh, we got a lot of work to do to get ready. You know. Uh, Everybody goes to Vegas with one goal, win the tournament. You know, I don't care if you're one, I don't care if you're 12. You know, you're going there to, to win the tournament. So, you know, we got to get focused. Uh, we can rest a little bit, but hopefully we'll be ready to go. You know, it looks like we'll probably play the real late game Thursday. Um, you know, Utah's playing really good. Now, Washington School is one of them could, you know, get them, but they're playing really good. They're a really good team. So, you know, we'll be late Thursday night sometimes. So, it'll be a, a break for us here. And we'll have to keep our intensity and keep our focus. Having those final three, you talk about having to be tough with those final three on the road, and then to go 3-0 and during that stretch, though. It's, what do you take from that, seeing these guys go 3-0 and to wrap I'm, up the I'm, I'm really, really happy for them. You know, that... Uh, that was a you know, tough stretch. Anytime you just play on the road, but you know you come in. Uh, Stanford was 13 and two at home, uh, with with losses only to uh, Arizona and UCLA. And these guys, their only loss was to a great Utah team. So, you know, we had to play these last two, you know, in two environments where they hadn't lost, and uh, you know, both games right down the wire, and um, you know, we made plays that we had to. So it it, uh, it showed some determination from our guys. Really happy for them. Uh, we haven't shown that all year, so I hope that signals progress and growth uh, for our team. Coach, you guys are I think now seven and nine games decided by five points or less. That confidence that comes from winning those games. How important is that going into competition? Yeah, it's, it's really important. You know, college basketball game, there's a lot of close games. You know, I mean, you look at the scoreboards every night. There's just a lot of close games. So being on the right side of those numbers are always you know it's 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 uplifting you know it gives you energy and and guys do feel confident we don't want to get too confident but uh we want them you know to feel like those game situations we can get stops we can get rebounds uh, we can make offensive plays to to get it done can you know, how important is it for you to find the third score felt like the pressure off joe and elgin 
Well, I, you know, I think Dwayne, Dylan, you know, different Jaleel. You know, we, we've got guys that can step up and hit shots. I thought the balance is pretty good. So uh, it'd be nice, you know, get Jordan, you know, a little more confident down there to get one. But Casey and Ahmad, you know, we, we're playing eight guys right now, and all of them feel like they can get a bucket. You know, I don't, I don't think there's, you know, Casey jacks up those two threes. There, there was no hesitation there. So uh, you know, I, I think all of them feel like they can, they can score a basket. What went into your thinking of uh, calling Benjamin? Did you have a hunch? Did he want it? Well, we ran the, the play against Stanford. Uh, same scenario. Um, and so I just said, well, work there. We'll try it again. And, uh, uh, you know, when I looked at Dwayne, he, you know, he, he wanted it. And uh, Joe set a great fit. You know, I knew they wouldn't leave Joe. You know, and, and so Joe set the pick and, and got him a pretty good one. Seems like Dwayne's kind of come full circle because earlier in the year he wasn't shooting very well from three, and now you got the confidence to let him do it. There's a transition for all players, you know. I, uh, you know, he's settling in. You know, he's he's practicing a lot better. His focus is better. So, you know, he's he's done a really good job of, of making that progress. Uh, but like I said, I think it, it's all started in practice. I think he's just done a much better job in practice, uh, which has made him a, a much more complete player. Come game time. Is this what you expected out of him in the beginning of the season when sure. you first got him? No, no, we we liked his talent. You know, I mean, uh, his athleticism, his length. Uh, you know, there's a lot of things, and, and you know, the, the thing about him is he's got such a high ceiling. He can get so much better if, if he focuses in the off season and, and puts the time in. Uh, with his skill level and his athleticism, it's it's a great balance. Um, I think he could be a really good player. Coach, you guys haven't been the biggest volume free throw shooting team in most of the conference season. You outshot Oregon State 24, 24 attempts to 11 attempts to free throw line. Do you see something different? You guys get well. You know, we shot maybe what six or eight of those first minute and late. You yeah. know, and then and we shot four the first minute. We shot eight late. So there's 12 of them right there. You know, but. Other than that, you know, I thought we did a good job taking the ball to basket some. Um, you know, I thought we got some pretty good looks when we drove it. So uh, I thought we did a good job. I think the difference was the start of the game and the end of the game. Was, was all. What did you think when you saw their starting line? Uh, you know, <laughs> I figured he was doing it just to fire up the crowd, you know, and, and get everybody excited. And, uh, you know, we, we've got our walk-ons, and they do a great job, too. You know, I... Uh, you know, it's a great gesture, and uh, you know, I was a walk-on, so I, I like it. I think it's, it's something. Uh, but, you know, I was really happy uh, that we stayed focused. I was worried our guys would lose focus, you know, what's going on here and, and not start the game well. But uh, we hit a couple free throws here. Do you like coaching in games like this where Oregon State hasn't been packed here at Gill for a while and the atmosphere has been like this for a while? Is it well, guys, you know, guys like that excitement. You know, I mean, uh, you, you go to the Pac-12 or any school to, to play in big games, you know, uh, get your adrenaline flowing, you know. So uh, I'm way past that, though, with, you know, a lot of years. I, it doesn't matter, you know. Uh, but it was a great atmosphere. And, you know, this is, this is great for working basketball, the state. Okay, this, this, is, this is really good for our state. Uh, football has dominated the conversation for so long, but... You know, having a rivalry and having two teams compete and the place full and, you know, the place full in the gym and we play, you know, that's, that's good for basketball. Young kids grow up, they watch the game, they, they want to be basketball right. players. So I think it's really good for the state, you know, and I, it was a great environment tonight. Uh, fortunately, we won, so I feel better about <laughs> it. But, uh, again, it, it is good for the state. It is good for basketball in our state. And so um, you know, I hope the – you know, teams, you know, he's got a great recruiting class coming in. we got a pretty good one coming in. Uh, you know, hopefully both our teams, you know, get to that level where the Oregon State, Oregon can't find a ticket. You know, it, it's great games all the time, and, and you can't find a ticket. Thanks, right. Dana. Thanks, Dana. Thanks, Dana.